Cookies Homestead. Welcome. And I thought I would do finally do a video on my rabbits. So I have four of them, but two different breeds. So I have this young buck. Pardon me for you know turning my back to you. guy is the one that my granddaughter Jessica named Peter. He's about 12 weeks old. He's a Champagne de Jean. When we got him, he was black like his head and his ears. In the last three weeks, I am amazed at how much he has changed. He seems to be settling in very, very nicely. My does, um, they're coming along. They transitioned a little bit harder than this young guy. Um, did you put him in there, bud? Yeah, I did. Um, I'll see. <laughs> Mopsy love, like, I have really high cages, but I like the, I like seeing them stretch. These are my breeders, you know, this is their home, so I try to make it as comfortable for them, you know, as possible. So, Flopsy, and again, my granddaughter named them, um, I will see if the does are just getting, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right, sweetheart. The does are just getting so I can handle them, um, which is really good because, you know, you've got to make sure that they're healthy, check their ears, check, you know, especially if you're going to breed them, your does have to be, you have to be able to handle them. So they're coming along very, very nicely. Um, and they know, they're starting to get so that they know when I handle them, it's okay, good girl, that they get some really good treats. Okay. And I don't give them much of these sunflowers, black sunflower, but she knows, I don't know if you can see that, she knows that she's getting them. And you went and dumped your water there, girl. Um, and it's just, you know, for me, so they know I, and you dumped your water too, Mopsy. Um, Mopsy's the one that was actually really, really skittish. Um, she actually um, grunted at me, or I don't want to say it, she growled, but she really grunted for the first week and a half. So I didn't even try to reach in and touch her. Um, with her, I go a little more slower. Um, <laughs> stay in there, Popsy. Uh, but she is coming, and she's like, hey, where's my, my you too long today because I don't know what you're saying. Oh, you, gr I don't know if you heard that, but she did kind of did that grunt. Um, there you go. You want your, and she knows
she'll come down for her her treat. Um, but I'm gonna leave her alone. Um, I've been in here her, a fair bit because I did my morning chores and I checked them. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see Peter. He's he's pretty happy, happy hopping around. Um, and uh, yeah, there's Mopsy. She's just now found her her treat. So these three that I've talked about are my Champagne de Jones. And I'm probably not even saying it correctly. Um, uh, I chose them um, for a couple of reasons. They are a heritage breed, which I really liked. Um, they... We'll find out how the grow rate is, because I've been told that they have a good grow rate. Um, they're a nice size, especially if you are going to have them for meat, um, which is our plan. Uh, <laughs> and Flopsy likes to throw her dish around. <laughs> um, so yeah, watering in the in the uh, winter here with the the bowls because they freeze and you know, I'm out here quite a bit, um, making sure that they have water. Now, my last uh, my last rabbit is a silver fox, um, and he's a young young one as well. I'm just gonna see if I can turn this um, camera. There we go. Um, and he's got quite the personality, um, he, uh, well, some days I wonder if he's a doe because he loves his nest and he goes in there and, um, will stay in his nest for most of the day. Hey bud. So this guy, so Silver Fox, I chose them because I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. Um, they've got a nice um, black with silver tips. I don't know if you can see it with me wearing black and the camera is a little on the high side. <laughs> um, but they're still, he's still getting used to me handling him but silver fox um have a unique uh, coat where you brush it backwards it stays up whereas you know the other ones you brush it backwards and it just falls down lies flat again hi um yeah so he's You know, he's the start of this breeding line. Um, I'll probably cross them for meat. And then um, Peter will, you know, hopefully do his uh, job for the uh, purebreds. And I do eventually plan on having a couple of silver fox does as well. But I've started out small because everybody has said start out small because rabbit mouth <laughs> anyways um yeah so let me just get to oh i guess i haven't told you their names well you know peter so peter is about 12 weeks old um and then there's flopsy who's right beside peter and uh, she's about four months old and then there's mopsy who is also four months old and Mopsy and Flopsy are sisters. Um, they came from a, a very nice lady, um, rabbitry, um, Naughty Pine uh, Hutch. I think, uh, I believe it's Naughty Pine Hutch. Or no, no, sorry, Naughty Hutch. 
Um, I got all these from her. Um, and then this one here that I'm holding, this one's Cottontail. So, there you go, bud. What you want your treat to? There. There's your treat. Um, so yeah, I uh, plan to do some more videos. I am by no means an expert on, oh, put my hand right in the, expert on rabbits. I had rabbits as a kid. I had a little, a well, big white one. Um, and uh, so, but there is Peter and Flopsy and Mopsy. Hi, baby girl. Hey, you sweetheart? Yeah. And then we've got Cottontail. Now, oh, Cottontail. You see, for four months old, I thought he would be more silvery. Um, but it is what it is. I still like him. He seems small for me, but I don't know the breed well enough to say he's small or big or average. Um, but so that's my rabbitry. Thanks. Thanks everyone for allowing me to show you my rabbits and you know, comment below on what you would like me to talk about. And if I don't know the answer, I will find out either from Teal Stone Homestead or the Rabbit Center. Those are ones that I follow. Also, Slightly Redneck. Ones that I follow. Um, so I'll find out. So don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.